Thank you for riding the New York subway. Fire department got the building extinguished just in time. I'm definitely giving you out five stars. Glad I could help. Spread the word, too. The more people use the app, the safer we'll make New York. I'm gonna make sure everybody knows about it. Thanks again, Spider-Man. Looks like everyone's okay after the protest. Breaking on the app. Better get moving. Busting the door down! Ah! Cops will be here! We gotta go! We're making a run for it! Uh, gonna end you! was a bit overkill. I mean, come on, seriously, who would survive that? Getting uber smashed with tons of strength <laughs> against the head. I mean, Spider-Man, that's that's what I don't really like about Venom, this this entire Black Spider-Man story. Spider-Man was always about never killing people and um, the force that he used was always, um, well, it, it, there was, a re you could realistically say that this didn't kill people. Hey y'all, we're gonna be a little bit more serious today. If you were hurt in the Underground's attack on Roxanne Plaza, physically or emotionally, please, please get help. There's a list of resources on my blog. Switching topics, I'm pulling together an expose on the Underground, and I need your help. If you have any information you can share, it could help us shine a light on a group that needs to be taken down. Till next time, stay safe, and remember your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Goodbye. Jackpot. Oh, football league. I mentioned to Finn one time I was into soccer, and she went all impossible mission to steal this from an exhibition match for me. She'd do anything for her friends. This was our Everest back in the day. We were so pumped when we finally made it to the top. Roxxon and the Underground are trading shots nearby. Stuff the capsule in one of these pipes. Can't remember which one. There we go. One summer, we got way into space travel and started freeze drying our favorite foods. Bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. Total fail. 
Red bean ice cream was not bad, though. <laughs> I like the idea, but realistically, um, if you freeze dried, okay. Um, but if it's frozen and then um, it lays in the pipe for months or years and it's becoming unfrozen, um, all the moisture <laughs> will make sure that, um, yeah, this will not, this would not be the state of the food that you could expect. Uh, it would be a bit um, moldy, rotten. <laughs> anyway, um... Do we have any other time? Okay, so we have one more time capsules on the way too. So we're going to do these two time capsules and then we're going for someone left the lights on. This nice when we hit a capsule on the wall here. Man, time flies. Nice. Concert tickets. Finn convinced me to go with her. I went ready to hate it and wound up buying three CDs and a t shirt. Dazzler and Lila Cheney for life. 55 bucks for Frank A. <laughs> uh, yeah, these were the olden days. Um, in modern days, you're going to pay at least thrice the amount, at least, um, for a bad spot. Um, I mean, row 17 BB still. Um, yeah, if you look at modern concerts, it's absolutely... I mean, not only concert, but football games. I remember my father, back in the days, um, he went with my mother to a football game um, I'm a European so you uh, if you're a US citizens you're going to call it soccer but it's not soccer it's football you play it with a foot um, and they paid for two adults um, about six six euros or something um, for two adults sometimes a bit more and if you went with kids those usually cost maybe half or a third or nothing at all. And um, if you now go um, and if you want to watch football, um, and if you've gone with a family, two adults, two children, you're going to have at least have 60, 70 euros. And um, if you want drinks, overpriced, low quality drinks, you can easily put 15, 20 on top. So if you go with a family of four to a football match, all in all, you can easily say, I need 100 euros or more. And that's absolutely bonkers. Only the wealthy people anymore can, can actually experience football in that sense because it's just so expensive. Um, either the real hardcore fans are willing to pay a shitload of money for that or, well, the ordinary people, they just don't. That's an absolute shame. It's and and concert tickets. Oh my goodness, they've gone so expensive. My goodness, the, if you look at the prices, they start at 170, 180 euros. They start, and you don't even have a seat. You're going to have to stand for 200 euros in the worst spot. And the cards, the tickets, they go up 300, 400, 500 euros. These mad people. What? I mean, what the... F yeah, just no. I'm not supporting that madness. Concert tickets have become ridiculously expensive all around the world. I, when I, um, with friends, um, we wanted to go to a certain um, concert, a certain uh, musician, and we looked around all of Europe, in Spain and France and Germany and Austria and everywhere where they had um, a spot where they played. And they were all ridiculously expensive. It's just no, fuck you. Anyway.
time capsule should be out on those pylons. <laughs> we gave copies of our keys to each other so we could hang out more. Ended up just hiding messages in each other's rooms. That's already a <laughs> modern processor. I'm not sure if you know how um, the processor looks like, but the top is fine. Obviously, you have a heat spreader. Um, so you have a chip underneath, and that chip creates a shitload of heat. And you need to get that heat away. So you're putting on the heat spreader, this uh, metal plate on top of it. So it soaks up the heat and distributes it to... Um, this main portion on the top and then you're going to have to put cooling um, paste a certain very good conductive paste and uh, not not conductive um, heat um, a paste that transfers heat well from point a to point b and then you put a cooler on top so basically a copper stack or something and then you put um, a fan that pushes cold air against this copper plate cooler whatever so it cools down and that's how you make sure that the shitload of heat that gets outputted from a CPU, from a processor, um, gets dissipated into the room, into your home, so it won't burn. And then there are several types of connections. Um, th this is a modern type of connection. You can see the gold um, contacts. So there are always contacts and pins. Um, and the question is, where are we going to place the contacts and where are we going to place the pins? The problem with the pins is, you might realize, there are a lot of contacts. So there are a lot, if the pins are at the top part of CPU, not at the motherboard, there will be a lot of pins. And if you bend them, your CPU is dead. And it's very easy to bend them because you just have to maybe knock it down, just you handle it and force down onto your floor or you um, accidentally use your strength of your fingers to bend them something. So back in the days, um, until Zen 3 with AMD actually, those CPUs used pins at the top CPU part on this processor up here. And that was often a problem when people bent their pins. It's theoretically, you can try to fix it if it's not um, detached, if it's not broken, you can try to re bend them into position but that's very difficult and um, it usually if you're a normal person that won't work um, and then Intel at least in the consumer market sector they started to put the pins at the bottom into the socket into the motherboard where you really can't destroy them because you're not reaching in there and they put at least in the consumer market again they put because AMD with a thread ripper is a bit different story. Um, but in the consumer market, uh, Intel went and said uh, we're going to place these contacts that can't break off on the CPU, and that was a good choice. That's the better architecture decision. And AMD actually with Zen 4, which uh, recently released in 2022, they also now went this path. So they have a new architecture, a new socket, where you only have these gold contacts on the CPU and on the bottom in the motherboard you have the pins so the danger of bending the pins of breaking your toy um, is lowered even though of course um, if you managed to bend the pins of your motherboard your motherboard is dead and getting that out is a shitload of work um, whereas replacing a CPU is relatively easy but then again, I definitely like this design more. Um, all right, <laughs> sorry about my little excursion into PC architecture. Was fearless hopping up those back in the day. Shops all boarded up. Sad to see it like this. Right. Should find a low profile way in. Don't want to draw attention. <coughs> Hello? Man, this place is dusty. No one's been here in a while.
the good old washing machines without a display. You know, um, modern washing machines um, go kaput after four, five, six, seven years. The olden ones, you know, from my grandparents, for example, they had a washing machine which recently um, went goodbye. Almost 30 years old. <laughs> Nowadays, the washing machines, they, <laughs> they barely make it out of warranty. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. And of course, um, there are several types of problems. There is the plant obsolescence. So companies know exactly that what kind of resources they need to use. So they um, will break down after a certain duration. So a customer will have incentive to buy a new product. That's, of course, in my opinion, that's a bad company. Um, but then again, there is um, the problem that even if you are trying to be a friendly, good company, by not trying to let your products get break down um, with this planned obsolescence. Um, but of course, you have the problem of electronics. Even if you do everything right, even if you try to make it as long... Um, give it the longest life possible electronics can destroy that target and if you have a lot of electronics for example in modern washing machines there are several motherboards with several processors several chips and it's so complicated that the chance of something breaking down compared to the old machines who were mostly mechanical or even exclusively mechanical in nature is exponentially higher so even if you're a manufacturer and even if you're doing everything in your power to make sure that your washing machine will hold as long as possible it's nearly impossible with so many electronics in sight to let it live as long as the olden days machines so i see that argument and it is a strong one but I'm quite sure that there is a difference between we could we could make sure it holds 10 years or we can make sure it holds 6 to 7. Obviously, they want you to buy a new washing machine, so it's in their interest. It's just, um, as a customer, I don't like that. And whenever I find evidence of a company using that way... Of, hmm, let's make sure they buy our new products every couple of years because the products we sell go kaput on purpose. I do not support those companies anymore. And you shouldn't as well. Do not support companies who sell products knowing that they have defects. Yes, maybe it will only appear after five or six years, but if I am a company and I know that if I use this material, it will hold five years, and I could use this material, which only costs a fraction more and it will hold ten years, then the choice should be simple. But capitalism, of course, demands that you need growth, you need a lot of money, so let's make sure our customers buy our products every couple of years. And that I don't like. Anyway, uh, we are at Spider-Man. Rick's ESU textbooks. He took night classes so he could keep running the shop during the day. Guy was unstoppable. Someone left the lights on. Rock saw an ID for Ella Sterling, but the photo is of Finn. LR is a decent match for you, but that hair, maybe wear a hat? Haha, <laughs> so they want to get into Roxxon, I see. Oh dear, reactor, cooling system, storage. Um, people, just as um, I'm not sure where you come from in this world, but if you should ever find yourself in the position of you, um, hum, for example, are Russian and you murder innocent people in Ukraine, and you have an explosive weapon and on the map there is a nuclear reactor building please do me a favor do not shoot at it i'm not sure if you um, are aware 
because in modern times politicians like to say nuclear energy is a safe energy and yes as long as everything works fine it's absolutely safe but if a motherfucker so i need to say it because these people are brainless shoots an explosive at a nuclear reactor this explosion can cause the entire continent to be swarmed with an in Definite, invisible, deadly poison who will kill everything that moves. So please, do not shoot explosives at nuclear reactor buildings. And then we can all live. Thank you. I mean, seriously. Has nobody ever... I mean, do Russians not learn about Chernobyl? I mean, come on, people! You don't shoot explosives at a nuclear reactor! Especially since your country, Russia, it's very close to Ukraine. So if Ukraine goes nuclear goodbye, the radiation will travel by air, by clouds to you. You can't stop a radiation wave. It will come, the wind will pick it up, and it will carry it a thousand kilometers away. And further. So please, if you find yourself in this situation, do not shoot the nuclear reactor building. Shoot your officer who tells you to. So whatever you do in your life, never shoot an explosive at a nuclear reactor building. Please heed this warning. Because otherwise you will mark yourself as the idiotic, the most idiotic human in history. Seriously. Nuclear energy is relatively safe as long as the containment building is functional, as long as the cooling system is functional, as long as the water doesn't evaporate, as long as there are generators who make sure that water gets pumped through the coal, blah, blah, blah. We've all heard the stories. But if there are maniacs shooting explosives at such a building, they're going to obliterate this fucking continent. And that is something that I do not want. So please, do not shoot explosives at nuclear reactor buildings. Thank you. And I need, I need to say that ten times in a row, because obviously there are Russians who don't know that. I mean, when I read the stories in Ukraine that there were Russian soldiers digging trenches into the soil of Chernobyl and then they, <laughs> they got into military field hospitals with radiation poisoning damage I mean come on why would you dig into the soil of Chernobyl the one place on earth that is so radioactively contaminated that still to this day nobody can live there and even on the surface, it's extremely dangerous, and you duck into the fucking ground. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The stupidity required to do that. I mean, obviously, the people who, who did that, they have no education. Um, in the modern Western world, every citizen gets a basic education. Obviously, in Russia, there is a major portion of um, civilization... Um, well, her non-civilization outside of the major cities. What's interesting about Russia is that we Western people, we uh, the rest, you can basically say the rest of humanity at this point, were tricked by Russia into believing it's a modern society and country with rules and regulations and education and medicine, but only a fraction of the actual Russian society in the big cities that we see in television, in radio, in advertisements from companies, only those people in the major hotspots of Russia have actually access to technology, to medicine, to the modern world. But if we look at all those dumb, uneducated soldiers who were drafted from faraway parts of Russia where many people live, we see that there is a ginormous portion of Russia that has no education. They have no 
access to drinking water, to, to clean, to, to, to toilets, to, to washing machines. It's an absolute, this country is in shambles. The Russians, the Soviet Union, these people have learned to lie so well, they start to actually believing their own lies. I mean, there is a difference between lying to other people as long as you know the truth. But these people, they are so delusional, they actually start to believe their own lies. And that's a point of, of human development that, that is frightening. If you cannot differentiate anymore between your lies and what's true, then you have a major problem. Would you look at that? <laughs> I have similar containers. When I was a child, I had similar containers to store on my Lego. Whoa. Did they place hidden cameras on a screen? And why is the RAM the size of a house? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Is that even RAM? Yeah, that looks like RAM. <laughs> That's a bit ridiculous. RAM sticks aren't that big. <clears throat> Some kind of meds. GCSF. Used for treating bone marrow decay. Whose was this? There's something behind here. Yeah! Okay, this is a secret room. Finn must have designed all the underground's gear. Funny how we both started wearing masks. Video file from six months ago. Running a test upload. <coughs> Half my team is sick. But Krieger still want him in his new form. We need to do this tonight. Let me. You sure we're ready? We have to be. They broke ground in Harlem today, ahead of schedule. Poisoning the city to make a buck. They keep cutting corners, ignoring safety reports. I can't. Let them pervert my work like this, Finn. Okay. First we flush the core, then we wipe all data. You're sure they can't just make more of this stuff? No. No, as long as we take out the backup supply in Jersey too. But without me, they'll have no idea how new form works. Perhaps it could be DOA. I'll record us. Things go wrong, video uploads straight to the bugle. Perfect. You ready to save New York? Ready. There's a second video. <sighs> Damn it. No uploads. Phone must have been damaged. Tonight be for nothing. <laughs> I promise, Rick. They were trying to shut the new form project down. But something went wrong. Last known location of her phone. If I can track it. Okay. Come on, come on. Invisible, be invisible. Come on. He's here! Hold it away! Oh. Need a cloak? You can't! Straight up banishing really freak these guys out. Can't stealth these guys till they calm down. They're too alert. 
Must have tripped inside an alarm or something. Wait, what was that? You're done. Join the fun. Computer. If I can find Finn's phone, maybe I can understand what happened to Rick and why she became the tinkerer. There, got a location. Maybe that was the man that Finn okay. made. Was it her uncle or father? I'm not sure who he is. Obviously, we were, um, someone was watching us. And it seems not to be the tinkerer. So it is um, another person. <laughs> 